find this. So last class we were discussed about uh, uh, who are the most important key players in IT industry. That is vendor companies, service-based companies, and clients. Vendor companies are those companies, okay, they develop their own products like operating systems, programming languages, and all. Using these products, service-based companies are those companies, they develop the software applications as per the requirement of the clients. And clients are the business people, they're using software applications in their business. So this is the relation between the vendor companies, service-based companies, and clients. So in total IT industry, in software industry, we have how many persons are there? Pallavi and Atifa? Three. Three. Mm -hmm. companies, service based companies and clients. Vendor companies are those companies. They develop their own software products. Using those products, service based companies are developing software applications as per the requirement of the clients. And clients are using software applications in their business. So this is the relation between all the three people. Clear? Good. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. But mm -hmm. Mike, let us. This is the this is the point we discussed in the last session. Uh, let us start the today's topic, day two. Yesterday I was asking one question: Why the clients? Why the business people are using software applications in their business? What are the advantages of using software applications? What are the advantages of using software applications in the business? That is the point I'm going to discuss now. The advantages of using advantages of using software applications in their businesses. Advantages of using software applications in the businesses. Okay. <clears throat> First advantage, it saves the time. Second advantage, security. Third advantage, scalability. These are the three major advantages of using software applications. First advantage is what? Time saving, security, and what? Scalability. So how time will save if you're using software application in our business, okay? Let me take a small example. Let me take a small example. One minute. Okay. So first advantage is time saving. How time will save? Very simple. For example, uh, uh, one of my friend, uh, his name is Mr. Raj. He is living in uh, uh, maybe Hyderabad. And uh, myself is uh, Prakash. I am living in Pune. Both we are friends. Both we are friends. Okay, uh, maybe last 30, 40 years onwards. Uh, one fine morning, Raj called me. I am talking about near about 15, 20 years back. One fine morning, Raj called me. Okay, he is asking uh, maybe 10,000 rupees. How much? 10,000. So he is having the account in Punjab National Bank, PNB. And I have the account in State Bank of India. I am talking about 15, 20 years back, okay? Not now. So one fine morning, 
he called me. He is asking 10,000. So what I have to do? I need to go to the bank morning around 10, 10, 30. Okay. Where I need to go? State Bank of India. Okay. Here I'm going to take some withdraw form. <laughs> I need to fill the form. I need to stand in the queue. They given some token to me. I need to wait for some time. After that, I can withdraw 10,000 rupees from my account. Then I need to go to where? Which bank? Punjab National Bank. Here I need to take some deposit form. Yes or no? Yeah. Oh. So mm -hmm. I need to wait for some time. Okay. I can deposit some amount into my friend's account. So this is what this is what happened near about 20 years back. But let, try to understand this example. In this example, I need to visit how many banks? Speak out. Two banks. Two banks. First bank, State Bank of India. Here I need to withdraw. Then I need to go to Punjab National Bank. There I need to go, there I need to deposit the amount. So yeah. the transaction takes near about one to one of our time. Yes or no? Approximately. Yeah. Yeah. That is long back story. That is long back story. Suppose today morning my friend Raj called me. He wants me to transfer 10,000 rupees at morning. 7 o'clock he called me today. Okay. He wants me to transfer 10,000 rupees. I no need to go to bank. I no need to wait till 10.30 morning or 11 o'clock morning. Yes or no? Come on. No. One single. Yeah. Okay. okay. Fine. Clear? Yeah. Yeah. Clear. Fine. So, listen carefully. I no need to go to bank. I no need to deposit. Simply, simply, I can open my mobile. Okay. Uh, I have phone pay. I have Google pay. I have, you know, net banking. I have mobile banking. So I have Paytm. So many things are there. Am I correct or not? Hello? Yeah. Yes. I can open phone pay. I can easily transfer the funds from my account to my friend's account. I no need to, you know, I no need to uh, go to the bank. But what is phone pay? What is Google pay? What are all these? These are all software applications, yes or no? Yeah. So these are all software applications. So with the help of software applications, I can easily complete my transaction within a fraction of seconds. Say yes or no? Come on, speak yeah. out. Yeah. yeah. Yes, no? yes, absolutely. Yeah. I can easily, what is this? Okay, phone pay, Google pay, net banking, mobile banking. These are all what? Applications. Using these applications, okay? Okay, we can easily transfer the funds. We can I can perform the transactions uh, in a short span of time. Yes or no? That is how we can save our time or not. Both of you yes. in the class. Pallavi and Atifa. Okay, good. Understand the example, both of you? Yeah, understood. Yes, 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 understood. It will be very easy to access. You don't have to roam around here and there. Because yes. of the applications, we can access easily. Yes. Because I can say software applications is a part and parcel of our application, parcel of our life. Am I correct or not? Tell me, can we, can we imagine without phone pay, without net banking, without mobile banking, can you perform any transaction in real time? No. Because no. Now, every transaction is what? Uh, online only, correct or not? Suppose I want to suppose I want to recharge my mobile. Okay, I want to recharge my dish. I want to recharge my. I have to recharge my uh, fast tag. Okay, uh, I want to buy some. Mm. 
vegetables. Okay. Or I want to maybe pay my current bill. Tell me, all these we can perform through what? Online. Online. Software application. Online. Yes or no? So yes. I can say nowadays the people are not using cash in their pockets. Yes or no? Yes. Okay. Yeah. They are not using cash in their pockets. Okay, in their wallets. So everything is what? Credit card or debit card they are using? Or if we have your mobile, that is enough. If your mobile contains phone pay, Google pay, Paytm and all, this is enough to buy everything in the market. So nowadays, every transaction is a cashless transaction. Nowadays, every transaction is a cashless transaction. Point clear, all of you? Can yes. you hear? Yes. That is why yes. once you do not carry the cash in your pocket, once you do not carry the cash in your pocket, okay, mm -hmm. indirectly you are getting the security for your cash. You understand what I am speaking here? Hello. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, sir. Yes. If, yeah. if I if I put some some cash in my pocket or in my wallet, there could be a chance of uh, somebody is going to theft. Really? Yes, sir. No. Yes. Yeah. Yes. No one tapping from my pocket because I don't have any cash in my pocket, right? Every transaction I can pay through what? Credit card or debit card or I can use what? Phone pay or Google Pay. Suppose I'm going to the supermarket, I'm going to buy some groceries or provisions. I now need to carry the cash. I can pay the, I can pay the bill through Phone Pay or Google Pay or Paytm, right? Even yeah. I drink a coffee of worth of 20 rupees or 30 rupees, I can pay through what? Phone Pay or Google Pay. So what I'm trying to tell is, here nowadays the people are not using cash. Everything what? What is this? They're using this one. Online software application. Point is clear. Yeah. Yes or no? Good. Yes, yes it is clear. Yeah. So if this is how we can get the security for the cash. Okay. Coming to the scalability. What is the exact meaning of scalability here? Scalability means... Scalability means, uh, let us take a small example. Let us take the previous example only. Uh, as I said, my friend is living in Hyderabad. My Myself is living in Pune. I want to transfer the 10,000 rupees into his friend's account. I'm talking about 30, 40 years back. He is having the account in Punjab National Bank, maybe in Jubilee Hills branch. Which branch? Jubilee Hills branch and uh, i have the state bank of account india in india account shivajinagar branch pune let us assume like this okay fine if i want to transfer 10000 rupees into his account 30 40 years back i am talking i have to withdraw 10000 rupees from state bank of india shivajinagar branch where i opened the account then I need to travel all the way from Pune to where? Hyderabad. I need to go to Jubilee Hills branch where my friend is opened the account. In that branch only I can deposit. Understand the point here? Hello? Yes. Yeah. Why? Because this bank is different, this bank is different. This branch is different, this branch is different. So 30, 40 years back, every bank, every branch working independently. One bank, one branch is no way related to another branch. One bank, one branch is no way related to another branch. Every bank, every branch working independently. But once software came into the market, we can integrate all the banks we can integrate all the branches across the globe, across the world. Understand everyone? As I said yesterday, I used to take the online sessions for different country people. Remember, yesterday I told you. Yeah. Some living in US, like Atifa. So he is attending my training sessions. If you want to pay the fees to me, is he came to Hyderabad for paying the fees from US? No. Traveling charges is more than what? Fee, right? Yes or no? 
Yeah. Okay. Yes. But how he paid the amount, how he transferred the amount, how he transferred the fees from US to suppose this ex person having Bank of America account. I have the account in HDFC Bank. Bank of America is international bank. HDFC Bank is a national bank, right? How he transferred the amount from <clears throat> fees from Bank of America to HDFC Bank. Both are independent, both are different banks, both are different branches. This is completely different country. Though he can transfer, how it is possible? <clears throat> that is possible. online software. Yes. Yeah. Online means what? Software, yes or no? Yeah, yeah, software. So software plays an important role. Because of software, we can save your time, we can get the security, and also we can achieve scalability. Scalability means we can integrate everything here. We can integrate all the banks. We can integrate all the branches. So we can achieve the scalability. We can get the security. Okay, we can save your time. That is all possible because of what? We are using software applications. So am I clear all these three major advantages of using software applications? That, yeah. is, a, that is a reason clients are using software applications in their business because Client is a business person. From business person point of view, so time is most precious. Yes or no? Come on, speak. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. So that is why time saving, security, and what is the next one here? Scalability. These are the three major advantages. <clears throat> this is only one side of the coin. And what is the other side of the coin here? Other side of the coin is difficulties of using software applications in their business. What are the difficulties of using software applications in the business? Advantages we discussed. Now I'm going to discuss about difficulties. <laughs> what are the difficulties of using software applications? See guys, let us take a small example. I have a company called APC Company. I'm a business person. Who am I? Come on, guys. Business person. I'm a business person. Business person. What is my company name? ABC Company. Mm -hmm. So to run my business, I need some software application so that I give in this project to a development company called TCS. Understand the point here. Who is TCS here? TCS is a development company. TCS company point of view, who is he? Who am I? Client. Very good. I am the client. Very good. I am the client. So TCS need to download the application as per the client's requirement. Say yes or no? Yeah. Good. Yeah. If TCS wants to download the application as per the client's requirement, TCS need minimum three things. One is programming language, database, and operating system. Understand all of you? Programming language, database, and operating system. So without programming language, database, operating system, it is not possible to develop the application for any company or any business. Point clear. Hello? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, for example, TCS wants to develop the application as per the ABC company requirement using a programming language called ABAP. Which language? ABAP. ABAP programming language. Okay. And they want to use they have a database Oracle as a backend database. And they want to use operating system like Windows. Okay. So they decided like this. They want to use a web programming language, backend database, they want to use Oracle and operating system Windows. My question is, is TCS can use pirated software to 
develop the application. Each TCS can use pirated software to develop the application as per the company requirement, client requirement. What is the meaning of pirated software? No idea. Original. Licensed software. Point clear. It is not original. What is this? Licensed software. That is called pirated. Okay. These TCS companies like can use pirated software to develop the application as per the company requirement. Should not. Yeah. It is a. It's I can I can say it is a crime. Understand? It is illegal. Mm -hmm. yeah. They are not supposed to use what a pirated software to develop the application. So development company like TCS, they need to buy, they need to buy licensed software. Original licensed softwares, yes or no? Yeah. From come on. Vendor companies. Vendor companies. Because who developed this? Who manufactures these software products? Vendor companies only. That is mm -hmm. what I told you yesterday, na? Yeah. Yeah. So, so developed by vendor companies. Vendor companies. Right? Development company, development company need to buy original licensed software products from vendor companies. Correct or not? Okay. Yes. Tell me, above programming language developed by SAP. Vendor company SAP. Oracle database. Oracle. Oracle. Windows operating system. Microsoft. Very good. Microsoft. Am I clear, all of you? Yes. Yeah. Can you hear me? So, Microsoft, Oracle, and SAP. All these three. <coughs> Fine, guys. Um, yeah. Approximately. ABAP software original cost is 10 lakhs. Let us assume like this, okay? Hello. I don't know what mm -hmm. is the cost. Let me check. I think we need to buy complete SAP ERP. Okay, if I find this, you can get some information regarding the this thing. Leave it, leave it. It's not important for this. Okay, fine. Leave it. Let us assume 10 lakhs. Oracle cost approximately <laughs> come on, 15 lakhs. Windows operating system original license cost is 5 lakhs. Let us assume like this. So 10 plus 15 plus 5. Total 30 lakhs invested by development company TCS. Yes or no? Come on. Yes. 30 lakhs invested by here in this example. Development company. TCS. They bought all three products from three vendor companies. With the help of all the three products, they developed the software application as per the requirement of the clients. Okay. So, tomorrow client at this company employees are going to use this application. Yes or no? Tomorrow this company employees are going to use this application. If they install the software application in the client systems, even client systems also should contain Windows operating system, backend database, Oracle, and ABAP programming language. Without this particular software, this application cannot run. Yes or no? Yeah. 
suppose let us assume my client system contains Linux operating system. But this application developed on which operating system? Windows. Windows. So Windows operating system application can run on Linux operating system? No. That is why client also need to buy what? Windows operating All system, database Oracle, and rest of the programming language also from SAP. So in this example, client ABC company also need to invest how much? 30 lakhs. 30 lakhs. So, yes, sir, no. so in this particular mm -hmm. example, total 60 lakhs business coming to, total 60 lakhs business coming to whom here? Vendor. Vendor companies. Total 60 lakhs business coming to vendor companies. Do you understand what I am speaking here? Tell yeah. me. Among clients, development companies and vendor companies, who are getting more business? Vendor companies. Development companies or vendor companies? Vendor, vendor. Companies getting more business, more business revenue than clients and development companies. Understand all of you? Okay. That is why vendor company owners are the richest people in the world. Okay. Okay. Uh, Microsoft company owner Bill Gates. Oracle company owner Larry Edison. Facebook owner Mark Zuckerberg. Yes, sir. Yeah. So who are these people? These are all vendor company. This is Microsoft. This is Oracle. This is what? Facebook. Who are these people? These are all vendor company owners or not? Hello? Yeah. Yeah. So that is why out of 10 people in the world, top 10 billionaires, minimum I can say 4 to 5 people comes under what? Vendor company owners only. Because they are getting more business, more profit than uh, clients and development companies. Am I clear this point, all of you? Yes. Yes. Okay. Fine. So clients, development companies, and vendor companies. Okay. One more important question I'm asking. Is clients and development companies can use this particular license lifelong, forever and ever? No. No, I think so, right? They have to renew it. They give every renew, time. yeah. You have to renew the license, yes or no? Yeah. Yeah. If you want to renew the license, again, you have to pay extra some amount. Yeah. And one more important point is we are in software field. In the software field, versions keep on changing. Yes or no? That is yeah. also my problem here. Yes, version keeps changing. So whenever version will change, whenever version will change, accordingly we need to use what? We need to upgrade, right? Yeah. Yeah. Upgrade the software. So whenever you want to upgrade the software, again you have to install the software. And also, we need to maintain the software. Maintain the software means we have to maintain our own application server. We have to maintain our own database servers. We have to maintain our own firewalls. Yes or no? Yeah. Yeah. So for security reasons, I'm talking. These are all comes under maintenance. So okay. problem with uh, uh, clients and development companies are they need to keep on updating the software. They need to keep on installing the software. They need to keep on maintaining the software. And every time they need to, okay, renew the license. Renew the license. So it's all together, what happens? It is going to increase the cost. Point it is going to increase the cost, maintenance cost. Yeah. Okay. Because of the cost, because of the maintenance cost, because of these problems, only top level companies or I can say premium level companies are using software applications in their business. Do you understand what I'm speaking here? Yeah. Only 
top level or premium level companies are using software applications in their business, but not small companies or medium level companies. For example, you can talk about KFC. Let us take a yeah. small. Okay. KFC, I'm going to compare with a small bakery. Okay. Suppose I go to the KFC, I ordered one burger. If okay. I order a burger, the person who is standing in front of the uh, computer system, he feeds me order into the system. He given some printed token to me. Yeah. I need to wait for some time. After that, I will get the order, right? Yeah. yeah. Tell me, if you go to the KFC or McDonald's or Papa John's or any... Okay, uh, Domino's or any other restaurant. Okay, uh, there you can see uh, the computer systems. They're having its own software to run the application, right? To run the business. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I go to the bakery, suppose. I go to the bakery. I go to the bakery. Same burger I also ordered here. But in the bakery, small bakery, they, uh, they do not have any, you know, branches and all. Only one place in one bakery, in the place. Okay, if you ordered one burger, the, the bakery owner do not maintain any computers inside the bakery. He do not maintain any software in his business. He just taken the order, give the order to me. That's it. Tell me, why KFC using software application to run the business? Why not small bakery here? It has branches. KFC is a top level. It's a top level company. company. Yeah. Bakery yeah. is small. All over the world. Because they can afford KFC kind of restaurants, they can afford what? Cost. Software. Cost, yeah. yeah they can yeah. afford cost because KFC yeah. has a cost of branches across the world, right? Yeah. KFC business turnover in crores in a year. That is it. They can afford what cost. That is the reason they are using software to run the business. But whereas bakery turnover is maximum thousands or lakhs in a year. That is why bakery owner cannot afford the cost. That is the reason he is not using software application to run his business. Tell me why the bakery per person taking the back step to use the software application? Because they cannot because afford. Because of the yeah. They maintenance cost. cost. Yes or no? Suppose yeah. they reduce the cost, then automatically small companies like uh, or medium, medium level companies, they can use what software applications in their business. Understand? Yeah. Clear all of you? Yeah. That's it. Right. But how to reduce the cost? How to reduce the cost? That is why they come up with a new concept name is called vendor companies. Come up with a new concept name is called. Come on, what is this? Cloud. Understand all of you, the purpose of coming to the cloud computing technology is to reduce the cost so that software applications should use by every person in their life. That is the main goal of what? Cloud computing. Point clear? Okay, yeah. Everyone can afford the software. Yes. That is it. okay. One minute, guys. Please wait. I'll be back in two minutes. Please wait, all of you. Sure. I got a call. Okay.
Fine. So, what is cloud computing here? Mm -hmm. Okay. Cloud computing means it is a technology or it is a concept. Here, whatever IT services we need, everything will provide by whom? Cloud computing. No, no, vendor company. Sorry, vendor, yeah, vendors. Vendor company taking the responsibility to provide all services. Yes. Everything will be provided by will be provided by vendor company. As a user, we just need only internet connection and access those services. Do you understand this point? Whatever IT services we need, everything will provide by whom here? Vendor company. Vendor company. As a user, we just need only internet connection and access those services. Services, okay. <clears throat> Means all services are provided by vendor company. If you want to access these services, we just need only internet service. If we have internet facility, we can access all the services, whatever you want. Maybe some, maybe you don't understand clearly. Let me give you a small example. Uh, maybe, suppose, uh, I want to check my mails. And also, I want to take the printout. Example, I want to check my mails and also I want to take the printout. I want to check my mails and also I want to take the printout. Okay. <laughs> If you want to check the mails, if you want to take the printout, guys, uh, I need to buy one laptop. And also I need to buy one printer. And also I need to buy some white papers to take the printout. Yes or no? No. Yeah. And also I need internet, internet connection. connection. Without internet, I cannot access my mails. Yes or no? Yeah. Yeah. Laptop cost approximately how much? 50. Approximately 10. White papers approximately 500. Internet charges every month maybe 1,000 rupees. Approximately, altogether near about 60,000 rupees I need to invest. Yes or no? Yeah. So instead of investing 60,000 rupees unnecessarily, simply I'm going to internet center. Simply I'm going to internet center. There I can check my mails and also I can take the printout, right? Correct or not? Tell me in the internet yeah. center, can you check your mails? Yeah. Can we take internet the can we take yeah, the... we can take the printout. Yeah. But internet center in the internet center, who provides the internet facility? Internet center owner, yes or no? Yeah. Who provides the white papers to take the printout? Internet center owner. Who given the printer facility to take the printout? Internet center owner. Who given the laptop facility to access my mails? Internet center owner. All these facilities are given by. All these services are given by whom here? Internet center owner. Yes or no? The way how internet center owner provided all these services, in the same way, 
here also the vendor company provided all IT services, whatever you want. Understand? Atifa and uh, no, okay. The way how Internet Center owner provided all the services, same way here also vendor company provided all IT services, whatever you want. Okay, got it. Point clear. If you want to access these services, you think you need only internet connection. It means that because of cloud computing, because of cloud computing, both the clients and development companies, both the clients and the development companies, they no need to buy the original licenses of software products from vendor companies. They no need to upgrade the software. They no need to install the software. They no need to maintain the software. Everything, upgradation, installation, maintenance, everything will be taken care of by whom here? Vendor company. Vendor companies. So once cloud computing came into the market, both clients and development companies are free from upgrading the software installing the software and maintaining the software. Then automatically what happens here? Cost is reduced. Everything will be taken care of by whom here? Vendor company, that's it. Vendor. Got it. Good example. Am I clear this point, everyone? Yes, clear. Meaning of cloud computing. Am I clear? So that clients and development companies, they no need to buy original licensed software. They no need to keep on updating the software. They no need, they, they no need to keep uh, install the software and they no need to maintain the software. All things are, okay, uh, taking care of vendor company. Understand everyone? Yes, sir. Uh, still any, anyone have any doubts? Atifa. No, it is clear. It was a good example. Thank you. Pallavi, understand? Understood. Now Pallavi got a doubt. What is her doubt is, sir, I understand the meaning of the cloud computing. Very fine. But you keep on saying that vendor company provided IT services, IT services, IT services. What kind of IT services vendor company provides? Okay. Regarding IT services, I will discuss in tomorrow class. Understand? Okay. So there are three types of IT services provided by vendor company. There are three services. One is IaaS, PaaS, SaaS, or EAS. Am I clear, all of you? Yes. So tomorrow class, we will discuss about what is cloud computing? In today's session, we were discussing about the advantages and difficulties of using software applications. And that problem we can overcome by using cloud computing. So these are the three points in today's class we discussed. Am I clear, all of you? Yes, sir, clear. So that's all about for today's class. I'll catch you tomorrow, same time at 9 o'clock. Thank you. Follow sure, me. Follow me. Notes. Yeah. Notes. So, uh, how can you provide uh, notes, sir? You, as you said, you can. You will provide uh, notes. Yeah, I will provide the learning notes. But uh, the problem is, Pallavi and Natifa, first you have mm -hmm. to get registered. Okay. <laughs> then only I can provide the learning notes. How to get registered? No, oh, sorry. How to get registered? I can see in the chat. So you have sent the this thing. Yes. How do I need to contact you and all? Yes. Yes. Okay. They're having phone pay, Google pay numbers. After mm -hmm. paid the fees, okay, you have mm -hmm. to send the screenshot to mail ID. Okay. Their mail ID. Okay. Then only uh, I have the rights to share the running notes and materials. Okay. Okay, okay sir. Thank you. And uh, the class is for one hour or two hours, sir? One hour. 
every day. Okay. One hour. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. And what is okay, the contact sir. number or something? Yeah. Open the uh, Google chat window. So Zoom chat window. Open the Zoom chat window. Did you notice the information? Look yeah, we can. Mm. So that's it. That's all about the today's session. I'll catch you tomorrow. Okay, it's time for the next okay. session, guys. Thank you. Okay, so thank you.